were so cute was what I heard. I still hear all my life. Even today, I was on a coaching call and talking about what are the traits that you see of yourself that you do or you don't want to to talk about or show in your brand. And cute is something that I have resisted my entire life. Like so many people describe me as cute. And again, I am 46 now and people will still describe me as cute. Oh, you're just so cute. And you see how I say that? But do not get it twisted. I, I know that like I've got a round, very round face. I'm super smiley and I've got lots of energy. I'm bubbly and I'm short and I'm petite. I get it. Don't get it twisted. Cute has helped me in so many ways get out of traffic um, things and has absolutely gained, a tr like b being cute has served me in getting def definitely different things. It's also limited me and infantilized me and absolutely helped me, not, fought, not helped, fostered hypersexuality. Um, and yet it is absolutely a part of me. So when I talk here about accepting, accepting all of you. Those parts of you that, again, all of our parts have served us or limited us in one way or another, but those parts that like still irritate you, those are the parts that still need the nurturing. And for me, it's absolutely around being cute. And so start looking, what, what are those parts? What are those parts of you that you need to love a little bit more? Because if you can love that and you can shift your body's reaction to when you get triggered of, oh, you're just so cute, to, yeah, you're f cute, that's where you determine your experience. That's when that overarching self-acceptance kicks in. That is the juice. That is the pathway to ecstasy.